Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 10 support officially ends on October 14, 2025, as we have been talking about. And as you may well know, you can extend your support for one year after that date. If you are a home user by paying $30 or syncing your PC settings to OneDrive, which does require a Microsoft account, as we have spoken about previously. And there's also another option that lets you use your Microsoft Rewards points. That's 1,000 of your Microsoft Rewards points to get that extra year. Now, in regards to businesses and enterprises who also get extended support for three years, by obviously paying a subscription fee, and then that capitalizes every year on top of the previous year's cost. As I've posted previously, video will be linked Microsoft 365 support is extended for three more years to 2028. That'll be in October 2028, obviously, to, as Microsoft says, get businesses to transition from Windows 10 to Windows 11 to so-called help businesses out. And just to let you know that in regards to this, Microsoft now has announced that Edge will also be supported until October 2028. And if we head over to Microsoft Docs, Microsoft Edge lifecycle policy, here we can see Microsoft says, in the blue, Edge and the Microsoft WebView 2 runtime will continue to receive updates on Windows 10 22H2 until at least October 2028, coinciding with the end of the extended security updates ESU program. The ESU program won't be required for devices to continue receiving Microsoft Edge or WebView 2 runtime updates. So even if you don't subscribe to the ESU, you will still get support, as mentioned previously, for Microsoft 365, Edge and WebView 2. And I think a big reason for this is because the new Copilot app which is mainly a so-called native app, according to Microsoft, still has components of it that need WebView 2 to run, which is very integrated into Microsoft Edge. And the Microsoft 365 Copilot app is also an Edge PWA. So obviously Microsoft wants to ensure that both Edge and WebView 2 are supported for these apps to work for at least a couple of years after end of support for obvious reasons. But I think extending support for Edge on Windows 10 definitely does make sense. And as I would say, I think that is definitely a move in the right direction.